hello, thank you, come in. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say, but um, thank you so much for all your kind wishes and um, and sympathy and understanding that you sent our way um, when um, when I told you about himself's dad dying. And um, it's very weird, you know. Um, and I don't want you to think that I'm trying to hijack himself's grief, um, you know, because it's himself's parent, but himself and I were very close. And also, like, he was my father-in-law and I loved him too. And also, I'm so grateful to him because, you know, himself is such a good, decent man with, you know, such wonderful values. And he's kind and he puts his money where his mouth is and he'll help people. And he learned all that from his parents, you know. So I'm very grateful to John for the son that he created. And it's been a weird old time because you know the way like you hear the word grief and you think of kind of obvious sorrow, of, of kind of crying. And, but like, you know, the, the, the Elizabeth Kubler-Ross thing of grief, there's five stages. There's, what is it, denial, anger, anger bargaining, depression and acceptance. Um, but she missed out fear because I have felt a lot of fear um, since it happened. Um, it was like there was a kind of an earthquake in me and kind of a lot of internal subsidence. And, and, and the thing that has emerged is fear. And it's the kind of fear that I felt, you know, when I was really not well, N not as extreme. But it just goes to show that like, bereavement really does affect us to our core. Um, because as well as being kind of, cog you know, intelligent beings who operate out of our conscious mind, we're animals, you know, we're animals and, and, and we f fear mortality, our own mortality. And I mean, the conscious part of me feels like it doesn't fear it, but obviously right down in my core, it does. Um, and, and actually C.S. Lewis understood the thing about fear, like when his wife died, um, there's a quote, he says, I had no idea that grief felt so like fear. Um, and he talks about being afraid um, and kind of an and the anxiety, like the fluttering in the stomach. And he said he couldn't stop swallowing. Um, so it's different for everyone. And, and all we can do is try and mind ourselves as best we can in any particular moment. Um, and, you know, I don't know every one of you personally, but like, we all suffer. We all go through shocks and blows and disappointments and loss and, um, and be nice to yourself and, and surround yourself with people who love you and, and that you love. Um, like it was very nice on Friday, um, we went over to Old Vummins and they were all there, you know, Baby Teddy and the Redsers and the Praggers and uh, Old Vummin and Old Man and, 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 and Jimmy, uh, who is my brother-in-law, whose birthday it is um, uh, tomorrow. And, uh, and we were meant to be sharing a cake and I kicked up a stink because you're entitled to your own cake when it's your own birthday. You know, old woman had said that we would have to blow the candles out together, me and Jimmy. And like, I'm entitled to my own blow and my own song and, um, and my own, for, she, he's, for she's a jolly good fellow. For some reason, my family sing that after you blow the candles out. It may not be every family. Um, but anyway, yes. If you have people that you're fond of, um, treasure them. Um, like when when we got back from from England, um, the first thing I did was I went over to see old woman and old man, and poor old man is gone in the head. First of all, I went to an AA meeting, and I came in, and uh, Dad goes, 
Marion. He like he recognizes me, and he goes, "Where were you?" And I said, "I was at an AA meeting." And he goes, "Where are you going to an AA meeting?" And uh, I said, "Cause I'm an alcoholic." And he goes, "Are you?" He says, "Are you very bad?" And it was funny, like it made me laugh. Anyway, I'm rambling and. I don't really know what else to say except thank you again for being so kind and thank you also for the birthday wishes. Life goes on and, um, and it's a process, isn't it? And um, I'll be back next week with happier news, hopefully.